What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and um, I just want to uh, talk about the upcoming fight between Earl Spence and Lamont Peterson on January the 20th of this year. Um, it's one of the first good fights of this year, and it's going to be a very good fight because you got both of these guys, one bigger, one a little smaller, that fight similar. If you look at Lamont Peterson, Lamont Peterson can box, but Lamont Peterson loves to dig to the body just like Earl Spence. These guys came up together. You know, Lamont Peterson, of course, being the more of a seasoned fighter, he's more of the veteran because, you know, he's been in the game longer. Where Earl Spence is a young, strong, hungry lion, you know, where Lamont Peterson has earned his stripes already. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it should be a very good fight. And I got to tell you guys, the reason why fights like this come about is because the best are not fighting the best. And that's not taking anything away from Lamont Peterson. Lamont Peterson, I've always liked Lamont Peterson as a fighter. You know, ever since he upset Khan, which really I feel that, you know, um, he had an in-house home, home team decision. But, you know, if you go back and you look at that fight, Lamont Peterson did rip some good body shots to Amir Khan and made that fight competitive. You know, and I think he just beat Danny Garcia altogether, you know, and Danny Garcia won because of who he was. So um, I've always liked Lamont Peterson, the way he fought. And uh, Earl Spence is a, one of the same fighters. But um, this fight should actually be Keith Thurman, man. You know what I mean? You know, like, yeah, we know this fight is happening. But because guys like Keith Thurman, you know, Sean Porter... Guys like this are not fighting and not taking that fight with Earl Spence. You have someone that will step up like Lamont Peterson has. So he gets all the credit due to that because he didn't have to fight this particular guy. He could have went to Al Heyman and picked any other fighter. You know, in fact, he, you know, he turned down, a, uh, you know, um, a belt just to fight Earl Spence. So it should be a good fight. I pick Earl Spence to beat Lamont Peterson. But it won't be easy simply because these guys have similar styles. But I always say like the old saying, you know, um, a good big guy will always beat a good little guy. You know what I'm saying? And this is what we have. You know, you have Lamont Peterson being the good little guy and Earl Spence being the, the good big guy, you know, the bigger guy. So, you know, similar styles, you know, Lamont Peterson, you know, I think if he takes some of that power from Earl Spence, you know, he's probably going to go into boxing mode and he'll try to mix it up, you know, and, and pick and change and, and choose his battles when going in there with Earl Spence, because Earl Spence definitely has the power. Not saying that um, Lamont Peterson don't. Peterson has power. But the problem about Peterson, he does not have devastating power. He doesn't have those that that type of power that can upset Earl Spence, because I see Earl Spence just walking straight through that power, you know. Um, but. I will say this about this particular fight. This will be one fight where if Earl Spence is not conditioned, if, and that's a big if, if he's not conditioned, we will see today, we will see on the 20th of January because they both go to the body. They love ripping hooks and uppercuts to the body. And if we'll see if, or if Earl Spence can take what he dishes out because he fights the same way, right? So We'll see if Lamont Peterson can get in there and dig to the body and make those punches count. Let's see if, you know, because a lot of guys, you know, I, I seen when he fought uh, Kell Brook and, and I seen Kell Brook. I mean, Earl Spence fight a lot of guys and he just really walked through their punches. He just walks them down like he did Kell, Kell Brook eventually. OK, but, you know, has anyone ever attempted to go to the body like Earl Spence is currently doing? Nobody's done that. So we'll see that happened because you know um i just i just really watched the uh the press conference and these guys got mad respect for each other you got to take your hat off to them like i said they they come up together you know and the amateurs one studied the other one so they now they know how each other are they more than likely they spar together so they know each other's style and, and it's similar again and again it's a similar style but if lamont i want to see what errol spence does when lamont peterson rips four two to three or four punch combination to the body like he did with Khan. I want to know how Earl Spence can adjust to those particular punches because, you know, they'll be coming the same way. So it's a fight to see. And it's a very good fight. You know, it's an interesting fight. So I, you know, I look forward to seeing it. 
because uh, Lamont Peterson has never ran from anybody. He either wins or he loses, but he always fights the best. You know, and at the end of the day, I would rather have a record with losses on it than have an undefeated record with that 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 never took a risk. You know what I mean? What's the point? That's not boxing. That's why a lot of people complain about boxing, you know, and they always, you know, revert back to the boxing of old. The Hagglers, the Leonards, the Durans, you know, they, you know, the Chavez's. They always go back to those days because that's when people fought the best, you know. Um, so anyway. The best are not fighting, but one of the best is fighting a very good fighter. So that's what we have. So we should be happy for what we got, you know. And uh, again, I look forward to the fight. If Earl Spence don't be, you know, because don't be don't be surprised if Earl Spence gets hit with a body shot. And you you can tell in his face, in, 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 in his body language that it hurt him because no one has done that. No one has went to the body on Earl Spence. So this will be another stepping stone for Earl Spence and another learning process for him to learn that, hey, there's guys that go to the body and he's vulnerable to the body. Ask Keith Thurman when he fought. Um, who did he fight? Uh, Puerto Rican fighter. Um, can't remember his name right now. Uh, but he was caught to the body and it was like, damn, what happened, you know, and hitting, hitting this particular guy was considered a cherry pick. Um, I forget the fighter's name, but, you know, but he's from he's out of Brooklyn, actually. You know, I just can't spot his name, but he was caught with a very good body shot, you know, and Keith Thurman learned. Yeah. And everyone learned that he's soft to the body. That's why if, you know, Keith, when that's why Earl Spence is 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 really favored to beat Keith Thurman, but no one has been to the body on Earl Spence. So we will see that January 20th, you know, and, uh, and you guys, you know, let me know what you think about this fight. You know, I know it's not the quote unquote biggest fight or whatever, but, but take it from me. Normally the fights that are not the top fights are normally the best. So I look forward to a good fight night and you guys been counterpunched. Peace.